Hi my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your October the 2nd until the 9th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Um, for those of you guys that are interested, as of now I am doing daily pick a cards on my Instagram. So for those of you that are interested in following me there, the link will be in the description box below. Um, and for those of you that are subscribed to me as of this October, I will be doing the free readings again. So for all of the subscribers, um, they will be entered into a draw for the free reading. And at the end of each month, I will be choosing the winner for the month. All right, you guys, and everything you need for personal readings will be down in the description box below. And I am still checking out who's interested in the extended. So if you are interested in me doing extended readings, then leave a comment below and I will let you guys know about that coming up. All right, so let's see, what can we get for the beautiful Capricorns? And, oh, all right. Nope, I'm actually gonna take these ones, so let's see. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. Eight of Hazards and the Lovers here. Okay, so it looks like if you are in a position where you're not sure if there's going to be commitment if you are dating somebody and you know that they have other options or you have other options. It looks like somebody's making a choice here. Somebody's making a choice to put in the effort. Somebody's realizing a connection for what it truly is. For some of you, this could be somebody finally speaking up about their feelings. But it looks like somebody wants to invest in a relationship with you here, with the higher friend here. This is about commitment. This is also about higher knowledge. So this person could have came into some sort of realization. This could have been through, you know, a counselor this could have been through a friend this could have been through somebody very spiritual but it's like this person finally realizes this connection for what it is so instead of holding back which i feel like for some most of you this person was holding back in the past they're going to be wanting to put more effort into this connection here it looks like things are moving forward in a more serious way All right, capricorn so you have the king of swords in reverse here so it looks like yeah your person's definitely coming out of a time where they're being very cold um, you know, non-communicative, I feel like this person is very, you know, they put their head over their heart, you know, so they're very withdrawn most of the time, but it's like they're realizing that they can't be like that, they're realizing that they can't have what it is that they want with you if they're always so cold and so withdrawn, so for a majority of you, the person that you're dealing with, it's like they're getting help, they're getting some sort of help from somebody, you know, within their circle of friends, or, you know, just somebody with a higher knowledge that, you know, has a different perspective on the situation here because it's like, I don't think your person realized that they were being so closed and, you know, pushing you away. It's like they were subconsciously doing that and now through whoever this person is, your person's realizing this and now they're, you know, putting that energy down. They're going to come towards you, be a little bit more open, more communicative. They're going to put down their sword pretty much. They're not going to be so, you know, aggressive and offensive over nothing guarded you know it's like they're very guarded but they're coming out of that all right capricorn so we have the hangman the five of wands and the wheel of fortune yeah so the delays were here for a reason you know if there was delay within the communication it was here for a reason your person definitely has had some sort of a wake-up call you know there could have definitely been some arguments and conflictions because of the fact that there was you know this delay for some of you you could have been ghosted by this person in the past others of you it's like you guys just every time you were communicating it just wasn't going well you guys just didn't see eye to eye um and you know but it's like with this wheel of fortune here the delay was for a reason this is you know things taking a turn for the better after a time of separation after a time of you know arguing and not really seeing eye to eye you know a time where you guys were really struggling um, you know, things are changing and I feel like there was something, you know, other than the fact that your person needs to heal, there's a couple other things that your person needed to learn that they are, um, you know, that they have learned in order for the two of you guys to have this Wheel of Fortune come in and for the two of you guys to make this commitment work, you know, make this connection work, see eye to eye and really start to understand each other, right? So it's like the delay was for a reason. It was all for a reason. I definitely feel for a lot of you that this is a soulmate connection. This is a really, really strong and rare connection here. Even through the fights and the delays, it's like you knew, you could still feel this person's energy. You know, even if they were ignoring you, even if they were withdrawn, it's like something within you, you know, didn't really freak out as much because something within you knows that this is the one that you're gonna be with and that, you know, it's either you, that you know that it's about timing or that your intuition isn't letting you, you know, 
freak out about this because I do sense that there are like angels watching over this connection, guiding this connection here. So even if you guys are apart, you know, the angels are helping you to work on what it is that you need to work on in order for you guys to come together. And I feel like if there is ever a time where you feel like, you know, you wouldn't have noticed, but there's a time where, you know, you're not thinking of them that much or they're not thinking of you. It's like automatically something happens where, you know, they're just glued to your mind again. And I feel like it's because the angels aren't letting you guys, you know, really separate because you guys are meant to come back together here. Some of you guys could be coming back together um, officially within December. Three of Cups. For some of you, this could lead towards an engagement here. This is a wedding card. Um, some of you have been with this person for a very long time here. I feel like the majority of you have actually been with this person for a very long time. Uh, some of you, this is actually renewing your wedding vows after a time where your relationship seemed like it was a little bit stuck. You know, things got... <clears throat> I would say, you know, you got very comfortable within this relationship and it just didn't seem to, you know, make your... It didn't give you the butterflies, you know, it didn't make your heart sing as much as it did in the past. So it's like you guys are coming into a time again where you're feeling just like you did when you first fell in love with this person. So a sense of celebrating that love, enjoying each other's time, coming into harmony. Some of you guys are going to be meeting somebody through, you know, some sort of social settings. If you guys are single, I would definitely, you know, take advantage of going out as much as you can throughout this week. If you get invited to something, definitely take that offer because you could meet somebody through, um, you know a social setting in an unexpected way. Seven of Wands here. So it's like, what I'm getting off this card is that there's going to be a lot of people that are interested either in what you're doing for yourself or just in you in general here, there could be some sort of social setting where somebody that you are, you know, this could be a friend, an acquaintance, somebody that you go out with, you know, is very, very angry or de defensive. I definitely sense an energy of jealousy, an energy of you really, really looking well and just coming out of a time where, you know, it's like you're just coming into a time where you're just going to be looking your best with this wheel of fortune here. Luck is going to be on your side. I feel like you're really going to be putting your best foot forward here, but I feel like there's some sort of energy around you that doesn't like that that's getting very defensive um, about this energy. For some of you, this could be the person that you're dealing with. But for some of you, I am sensing that this is a friend around you here. All right, what other messages can we get for Capricorn? Six of Wands, yeah, so this is celebration, this is victory, this is success, this is, you know, recognition, this is a lot of people looking at you, a lot of praise here, like I said, there's definitely somebody here that isn't really liking this, somebody that, you know, doesn't want, it's not that they don't want you to be happy, it's that they, they want that for themselves, you know, they want, if you guys both had this happiness and this joy, then they, this person would be happy, you know, it's like they're, they have a hard time not feeling bad for themselves. They can't celebrate you because they're not in a good position for themselves here. So I would just watch out for this energy because it's like while you're, you know, celebrating your success, there is somebody here that feels very threatened by it. And for some of you, this could be the person that you are dealing with, you know, if your career is taking off and they're still trying to figure out what it is that they want to do. It's like somebody feels threatened by where you are within your life. Somebody definitely sees your, your potential here. Four of Cups here. So for some of you, you're going to be really focusing on your career and you're not really going to be taking any offers of love. I do sense that there are, you know, opportunities here for you. For some of you, this is the fact that you are in a committed relationship or you will be getting back into a committed relationship, but there's going to be a lot of people that are interested in you offering you, you know, love. And it's not that you're paying any attention because you're not paying any attention to this, but the person that you're dealing with is going to be noticing all of these offers. They're going to be noticing the change within you and how that changes, how, you know, people around you react and respond to you. And I feel your person's going to feel threatened by this. If this is a breakup for some of you it could be that while you guys were through going through this breakup you know you had really evolved within life and your person had a lot of healing to do so yes they did the inner work but on the outside they don't have anything to show so they're kind of feeling like that's a bad thing so we have temperance in the page of swords here 
So I definitely sense here that there could be some arguing um, and a little bit of pettiness coming from the person that you're dealing with. I definitely sense some spying here and just a little bit of controlling behavior, just wanting to know what you're up to at all times. I do sense that things will be balanced out. Um, this jealousy is really just because this person loves you. This person, you know, has some a little bit of, um, you know, issues when it comes to themselves that they do need to work on in order for them to not be so jealous and possessive. But, you know, it is saying that even though they are going to be spying and they are not going to be very trusting, they are, you know, things are going to work out. Things are going to balance out. There are going to, it is going to balance out between the two of you guys. There will be balance here. But yeah, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. I have Taurus. I have Sagittarius. I have Pisces. So let's see. For Capricorns dealing with a Gemini. Capricorn dealing with a Gemini. If you're dealing with a Gemini, we have the King of Swords. Capricorn dealing with a Gemini. And the Emperor. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, I definitely sense, you know, a lot of masculine energy here. I definitely sense, you know... For some of you, you could be meeting, if this is somebody new, you're definitely meeting somebody from work here. But this is just saying that, you know, there is definitely a huge rise within power here coming from the person that you're dealing with. It's like they could have been very, very career focused and that could have been why there was a split or why, you know, things weren't balanced out here. But it's like I definitely sense that they're getting into a higher position where it's like they will be able to make time. So even though they are very serious when it comes to work and they will continue to put work first they are going to be putting more effort and more time in with you. But work definitely is, you know, a huge priority for this person right now. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn dealing with a Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, nine of coins here. If you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like, you know, there is a huge thing here that, you know, there could have been a lot of possessive energy between the two of you guys. And I feel like you guys have both found your balance, you know, independently. You guys are going to be feeling a lot more stable and balanced independently. Your person could have been dealing with financial issues, but it's like your person is really going to be feeling well off financially. If there was financial issues that were in the way of you two being together, I see those being resolved and the two of you guys coming together. But all in all, I just feel like this is the two of you guys feeling, you know, abundant independently as well as together and I feel like it's because you know when you guys are together you guys give each other such strength and such courage that when you're apart you guys feel very fearless and Capricorn's dealing with a Sagittarius Capricorn dealing with Sagittarius all right so if you're dealing with the Sagittarius we have the seven of cups and the ace of coins here so i definitely feel like somebody is coming out of a time here where they are you know exploring their options i wouldn't say you know i'd say that this person is more of you know in the phase of exploring their options seeing what is out there um and they are going to be making a choice and offering a stable relationship here and for others of you i feel like this is this person noticing that you are exploring your options and you have a lot of a lot more options around you and realizing that they need to make a step and offer you something stable before you know it's too late all right and capricorn's dealing with the pisces capricorn and pisces capricorn dealing with pisces seven of wands Six of Wands, okay. So if you are dealing with a Pisces, I definitely sense this is the one that feels, you know, a little bit defeated by your success here. I definitely sense here that there could be some sort of, you know, arguments and um, you guys are going to be jumping over those arguments and getting through them, but it's like it's gonna take them a little bit of time to really come to terms with the fact that, you know, you're rising into a higher level of position right now and you know, they still have things that they're still fighting for, still fighting through, and they're going to come to a time where they can be happy for you. And they can realize that, you know, you're both on two different life paths. And, you know, everything isn't going to be the same. You can't be one upping each other. This isn't a competition. And then they're going to start, you know, celebrating their success with you here, because it's like, they're going to realize either they're going to celebrate it with you, or you're going to celebrate it with other people. But yeah, so that is what I have for that. And then I will pull you a wisdom oracle.
and some angels answers. So let's see, Capricorn from the second to the ninth. From the second to the ninth, Capricorn. All right, loyal, oh, loyal heart. Beautiful, looks like you guys are gonna be, you know, I feel like, you know, the energy here is that even though sometimes, you know, this could be a person that you're dealing with where the fight, you guys have petty arguments, petty fights. It's like deep down at the end of the day, you both really love each other. You both really want each other. You're both, you know, loyal towards each other and your values and aspirations and goals are aligned with each other. This is somebody that you can have forever with, right? So it's like you guys are both going to be realizing that at the end of the day, you guys love each other. You guys want each other and you guys are going to be remembering that. A lot more throughout your day-to-day -day basis so that any arguments that were you know taking apart in your day-to-day -day life or weekly life those are gonna start disappearing here and then we have deep knowing yeah it's like there's already a deep knowing right you already know this here um, some of you guys you know maybe you should meditate or just make sure that you are not blocked from getting any messages that are trying to come within you because your intuition is really strong. You are very intuitive, especially this week. I definitely sense that there are going to be some messages coming to you, maybe even through in um, some dreams. So look up your dreams. If you're noticing any synchronicities, definitely look them up because there could be some messages within there. But otherwise, just know that you can trust your intuition because it is right. All right, and then I'll play you guys some angels answers. Oh, okay, so we have big happy changes. Definitely sense, you know, huge happy changes. And success. So success within career, big happy changes within a relationship. Things are evolving within your life, guys. This is beautiful energy. But yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, if you did and you would like to subscribe, feel free, as that is always greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.